They say the world was created by old man in the sky, who made a vast planet covered in water. He gathered up the water and poured it into the holes in Mother Earth to make the oceans, lakes, and rivers. Then he made all the creatures that live on Mother Earth. Next, he put the humans on the land that looks and sounds like them. Tonight we have a one-of-a-kind concert that was a collaboration between the art of First Nations storytelling. Rosemary Georgeson was the storyteller and it was Jeffrey Ryan who composed the piece and we put the piece together between the storytelling and the music. There are white walls of heavy mist all around us, blurring and whiting out the sea, but it'll change in a few minutes as the clouds hanging overhead are heavy and black with rain. The water is becoming blacker. It's making everything from the land to the sky look like it's all layered in charcoal and gray colors, that it's all one all the way up to the sky, this isn't a time for travel on the water. We also want to go to some more First Nations communities and present the work in a smaller format and get some of their stories and get some... some Finding ways to incorporate some of their stories into the stories that we're sharing on stage so that other, other communities have a voice in this. It's not just my voice. thinking about pulling them. A never-ending stream of slimy humpback. Johnny was in the stern pulling paints one time, and he'd been doing it for what seemed like days. He pulled one in and went to snap it off in the box, and the poor kid was so tired he didn't even notice that it didn't land in the box. It flew in the wheelhouse and landed by your bunk. What the hell are you doing back there? We laughed so hard when you threw that slimy pink back out on the deck. managed to put together a piece that's got a really important message mm. and it crosses cultures and it crosses centuries because yeah. it's, it's for the forces of uh, the Vivaldi Four Seasons but it's a, mm. it's a contemporary look at the seasons from the perspective of the sea, from a First Nations perspective growing up next to the sea and from a transplant from Central Canada approach <laughs> to living next to the sea and it's a great thing to live next to the sea, may I say. Charlie said everything you told him has happened. All of us who are connected with this water and this way of life on the water have seen the changes you knew were going to happen. We saw the fish go away, the creeks and wells dry up. We watched the cedar trees in the Arbutus dry and crack in the winds fall over. They've become weak from nourishment. You and the other old one saw this coming. But maybe it was too painful to know how things were becoming that no one saw beyond it. Herring dried up, ooligans went away, our water got warmer, the Salish Sea lost its smell. We were so absorbed in the losses that we sometimes didn't notice the signs of what we were losing. We want, we want many people to hear this piece. Uh, Rosemary and Joan on stage is uh, just an incredible synergy, the way that they play off each other. And Rosemary's stories are so powerful. And uh, as the composer, I get to sit there and just be taken away by the two of them 
and that's really exciting. We want more people to get that experience. So we want to take this as many places as we can.